So Apple has just done it again, quietly, confidently, and unmistakably. The M5 iPad Pro is finally official. And while at first glance it might look just like last year's model, what's happening under the hood tells a much bigger story. This isn't just another refresh. It's Apple signaling where the entire iPad lineup is heading in 2025 and beyond. And trust me, once you dig into what's actually changed, you'll start to realize this is more than just another chip update. It's a calculated move, one that positions Apple's tablet not only as the best in the world, but as the most forward-thinking piece of portable technology ever made. Now, let's be honest, when Apple updates the iPad Pro, it's rarely about flashy redesigns anymore. It's about refinement, efficiency, and evolution. And the M5 Pro represents exactly that philosophy. The new M5 chip, built on TSMC's latest third-generation 3-nanometer architecture, delivers incredible gains in both raw performance and power efficiency. We're talking about a 12% faster CPU and up to 36% faster GPU performance, with dynamic caching that adjusts memory usage in real time, something that wasn't possible on the M4. Apple's bringing laptop-class architecture even closer to the palm of your hand, and that's not an exaggeration. Now here's the kicker. While those percentages might sound small on paper, What's really happening is that Apple is future-proofing the iPad in preparation for a major shift, the full integration of Apple intelligence into iPad OS 19 and beyond. This isn't just about being faster. It's about being smarter, more adaptive, and capable of handling the new wave of on-device AI processing Apple is rolling out across its product line. Let's break it down because this M5 iPad Pro is quietly hiding some serious upgrades that most people might not even notice at first. For starters, Apple has finally listened to creators and power users. The base configuration now ships with 12 gigabytes of unified memory. That's right, no more being stuck at eight gigabytes unless you spend extra. That jump alone completely changes how multitasking feels on iPad OS. You can now switch between heavy apps like Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Procreate, and Lightroom without reloads or lag. Those small stutters when working with multiple 4K timelines or rendering 3D assets are virtually gone. It's smoother, more consistent, and it feels like Apple is finally treating the iPad as a true professional computer, not just a side device. And this trend isn't random. It's part of a broader Apple strategy. If you've noticed, the MacBook Air M5 and MacBook Pro M5 are doing the same thing bigger base RAM, better thermals, and improved AI cores. It's Apple aligning every product with its AI-first vision, an ecosystem that runs on speed, intelligence, and hardware-level machine learning. But it's not just about the RAM or the chip. Apple has also brought in the N1 connectivity chip straight from the iPhone 17 Pro lineup, which means Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 6, and thread support are now standard. On the cellular models, you also get the C1X modem from the iPhone Air, delivering up to 50% faster data speeds and much lower latency. Combine that with faster storage. Apple claims up to double the read and write performance. And you're looking at a device that feels significantly snappier across the board. Now let's talk about the display, because once again, Apple's tandem OLED Ultra Retina XDR panel continues to blow everything else out of the water. The same dual-layer OLED that made headlines last year is back, but it's been tuned for even better color accuracy and sustained brightness. Blacks are absolute zero level. HDR peaks at 1,600 nits, and Promotion Adaptive Sync now supports external displays at 120 Hz. So if you're connecting this to a studio display or even a Pro Display XDR, you're getting ultra-smooth motion and full HDR consistency across screens. That's a first for an iPad, and professionals will love it. And get this, fast charging is now even faster. The M5 iPad Pro can reach 50% battery in just 30 minutes using Apple's new high-wattage USB-C power adapters. It's subtle, but it's a major quality-of-life upgrade. Combine that with the M5's better thermal management, and you're looking at a device that not only runs cooler, but also lasts longer in real-world creative workloads. Whether you're sketching, grading, or rendering, this thing barely breaks a sweat. 
So what about design? Well, L. Visually, almost nothing has changed. Apple kept the exact same ultra-thin chassis, just 5.1 millimeters thick on the 13-inch model, still thinner than the old iPod Nano. The bezels are identical, the buttons are the same, and the minimalist aluminum body still looks stunning. Apple even kept the same color options and wallpapers. The only visible difference? The word iPad Pro is gone from the back. That's it. But honestly, it doesn't matter because the M4 redesign was already near perfect. It's clear Apple has entered the incremental era of iPad hardware. Just like the MacBook line, the big design overhauls are behind us. What we're seeing now are intelligent refinements, the kind that prepare for bigger things coming later. Think about it. Apple doesn't need to redesign the iPad every year anymore. The current form factor is iconic. Instead, they're making sure it's internally ready for the next wave. Whether that's foldable iPads, dual display models, or enhanced AI integrations. Speaking of future-proofing, Apple's accessories continue to play a big role. Both the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil Pro remain fully compatible. The hover feature, barrel rotation, and haptic feedback make the Pencil Pro one of the most advanced styluses ever made. And now, with the M5 GPU and memory improvements, creative apps can push even further. Expect more layers in Procreate, smoother brushes in Clip Studio Paint, and faster response times across all drawing platforms. This isn't just a faster tablet. It's a tool that makes professionals feel unrestricted. Whether you're a digital artist, filmmaker, or student, the M5 gives you that edge. It's subtle, but powerful. Now let's talk pricing, and this is where things get very interesting. The M5 iPad Pro starts at $999 for the 11-inch model and $1,299 for the 13-inch. Same as before, but here's the twist. The release of the M5 immediately makes the M4 iPad Pro an incredible value. With third-party retailers already discounting last year's models, the M4 now becomes one of the smartest purchases you can make in 2025. Think about it. Same display, same chassis, same accessories, just the M4 chip instead of the M5. The M4 was already overpowered for 95% of users. So unless you're someone who absolutely needs the best GPU or plans to use Apple intelligence features as soon as they roll out, the M4 is still more than enough. This move actually mirrors Apple's broader strategy. They're not trying to force upgrades anymore. Instead, they're creating long-lasting products that mature over time. It's the same reason people still use iPad Pros from 2018 today, because they still perform well. That's Apple's long game. Now, what does this mean for existing iPad Pro users? Well, if you already own an M4, there's honestly no reason to upgrade yet. The M5 is a refinement not a revolution. But if you're coming from an older model, say the M2 or M1 iPad Pro, or even earlier, the M5 will feel like a massive leap. You'll get the OLED display, the thinner chassis, the improved speakers, and that lightning fast chipset. It's a whole new world. Let's also not forget that Apple's AI roadmap is just beginning. With Apple intelligence expected to launch fully across Mac OS, iOS, and iPad OS by mid- 2026, the M5's increased RAM and neural engine optimizations make it a safe bet for anyone wanting to stay ahead. From real-time language translation to image generation and contextual understanding inside apps, AI tasks are going to require serious on-device horsepower. And that's exactly what the M5 provides. Apple is laying the foundation for an era where your iPad doesn't just respond, it understands. It anticipates your needs organizes your workflow, and connects your devices more seamlessly than ever before. That's the future Apple's building, and the M5 is its latest stepping stone. So, where does that leave us? The M5 iPad Pro isn't here to blow your mind with a brand new design or some wild gimmick. It's here to quietly set the stage for what's next. A more intelligent, efficient, and capable ecosystem. It's the calm before the next big wave. And make no mistake, that wave is coming. Rumors are already swirling about the M6 iPad Pro, expected to debut with a dual USB-C port setup, improved MagSafe support, and maybe even a foldable display prototype. 
But for now, the M5 represents the best version of Apple's vision, precision, performance, and purpose. So, should you upgrade? Odd A. If you're on an M4, keep it. It's still one of the best tablets ever made. If you're on anything older, the M5 iPad Pro is the perfect time to jump back in. It's faster, smarter, and built for the future of Apple intelligence. At the end of the day, this launch proves one thing. Apple's not chasing trends anymore. It's defining them. The iPad Pro has reached maturity, and now it's about perfecting what's already near perfect. The M5 may look familiar, but beneath the surface, it's a symbol of where technology is heading. More connected, more capable, and more intelligent than ever before. So that's the new M5 iPad Pro. Faster chip, more memory, future-ready features, and the same breathtaking design that redefined the tablet world. The quiet revolution continues, and Apple, as always, is one step ahead.